Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. So hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So before getting into this, so if you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share this with your friends and also within your student groups so that it can reach maximum number of people and each one of you will get benefited through this. So with nearly five years of experience, uh, we are giving these solutions guys. I hope every solution is correct. But if you feel uh, there should be any change to be made, please give your opinion in the comment section. So this is week one assignment of the course problem solving through programming in C. For the past five years, we have been doing these uh, NPTEL courses guys. So do watch the video till the end without skipping. If you skip the video, you may miss some content. So do watch the full video. So now let's see the first question. What type of device is computer webcam? So many of you may think that it is an output device, but it's not an out output device because the webcam will uh, read our data. That means it will read our image and our image uh, video, right? So it's an input device. That is option D. Now let's move on to the second question. Now, second one set of instructions to be provided to an electronic machine to perform a task is called as what? So, a set of instructions. So, the word itself tells set of instructions to be provided to the electronic machine that nothing but it's a computer so set of instructions to be provided to computer it is none other than option a programming next question is third one which of the following language does the computer understand that means what is the computer understandable language so computer knows only zeros and ones that means Option C, computer understands only binary. Binary means 2. By means 2, right? That is 0 and 1. So only it understands 0 and 1's language. That is not, none other than binary language. So mark option C. Now let's move on to the fourth question. So the fourth one. Which of the following is known as the language made up of binary coded instructions language made up of binary coded instructions so the answer is option d machine language machine language now let's move on to the fifth question now so the fifth one the algorithm is so what is the definition of the algorithm so if you see it's a process or set of rules to be followed in calculations or other problem solving operations especially by a computer not human it's computer so option c is the correct answer first fifth question so now let's move on to the sixth one so sixth question so before moving on to this so we uh, i want to announce you that information regarding these pdfs so guys we are uh, with nearly five years of experience so we have prepared the exam preparation mcqs so here there are two packs available for you so the first one is savings pack and the other one is super savings pack i recommend you to take this super savings pack because both are the uh, you'll get pdf access till the exam day guys the validity for both the pdf are till the exam day but here in the first pack you will get only 150 mcqs and the price is 300 rupees that means double and you are getting only 150 mcqs but here you'll get 300 mcqs with just 500 rupee purchase that means uh the mcqs are doubled but not the price actually it should be 600 but we are uh, giving it away for 500 only and the access also given up to five members that means if you share the same pdf within your five five members it will be 100 per each person right because you can divide this 500 by five so that per each individual person it will it takes just 100 rupees right and this is also same price for the first pack it is 300 by three up to three members access you can get 
so 300 by 3 is equals 100 right so the same individual price is for both the packs so if you five members of you of your classmates can form a group then it's better to take 500 pack because you'll get 300 mcqs so that you can get maximum practice more number of mcqs will give you more practice more practice so it will get better preparation so it's better to take this pack guys so i recommend strongly you this pack and the topic coverage is also very high in 500 pack compared to this 300 pack and in both the uh, packs uh, search option is available so you can easily search any keyword and you can uh, easily go to any question you need and it is also easy to revise because both are pdfs so you can easily scroll each and every question and you can even practice while traveling to the exam center so uh, it's your choice guys i think it's better to take this 300 pack because you are getting more mcqs that's what uh, the real use in taking this purchasing these packs because it is only a uh, benefit for you if you practice more questions so you'll get 300 questions in this 500 rupee pack so it's better to take this super savings pack so you will get a uh, pdf access for this uh, non downloadable pdf so you'll get such option and till the exam day guys not one month you'll get till the exam day you can you can get uh, the access till the exam day so you can prepare you will get lot of time uh, from now so if you want this pdf pack you can message me to this email guys so already many people have taken so with nearly five years of nptl experience we are giving these questions guys we have collected various previous years questions and also some handmade questions would also be there so you'll get 300 questions for this 500 pack or if you want only for 300 you can buy this 150 mcqs pack so that's it guys now let's go back to the solutions so sixth question a 2d diagram to represent the steps to be followed to solve a problem is known as so the answer for sixth question is option a flowchart now let's move on to the seventh question seventh one which one of the following statement is the most appropriate so for seventh question the correct answer is option d flowchart is basically a diagrammatic representation of the algorithm whereas in pseudocode normal english language is translated into programming languages to be worked on so fourth option is correct for seventh question now let's move on to the eighth one so here here the user input is 6 right if you see here suppose or not suppose so here we are reading this n here n equals 6 right so i is equals 1 and x is equal to 1 so here if i greater than or equal to n here i is 1 right i is not greater than or equal to 6 right so no is followed that means let me show you so you will directly print the value of x so what is the x value it is 1 so the answer is option c 1 now let's move on to the ninth question guys ninth one so what is the output of the algorithm so here the answer is option d compilation error because here you did not we did not uh, declared y the value of y but you are assigned the value of y to here right so it is it will give you compilation and compilation error a compilation error and next moving on to the final question of the assignment that is 10th one the section of the cpu that selects interprets and sees to the execution of the program instructions so the answer is option c control unit so mark option c as correct answer for 10th question so friends these are the solutions for week one assignment of problem solving through programming in c course so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share this within your whatsapp and telegram student group so that it will reach maximum number of people so keep supporting us like this so until then be safe be happy thank you bye and also you can refer to this pdf's case